If uh, Spencer won and Manny Pacquiao uh, fight with Spence, who's, who do I you think, think it's a bad. I think it's a great fight, but it's a bad fight for Manny in the sense Spence is a big, big fight. I think Manny don't need that fight. At kahit hindi pa nasasagot ang katanungan ay tila malabo na agad itong mangyari dahil sa car accident ni Errol Spence. Ngunit, pakinggan pa rin natin ang komento ni Bumbum Mancini ukol sa laban na ito. Dapat nga bang hindi labanan ni Senator Manny Pacquiao si Errol Spence Jr.? Ayon kay Boxing Hall of Famer Ray Bumbum Mancini ay dapat daw iwasan ni Pacman si Errol Spence. If uh, Spencer won and Manny Pacquiao uh, fight with Spence, who's, who do I you think, think it's a bad, I think it's a great fight, but it's a bad fight for Manny in the sense Spence is a big, totally big fight. I think yeah. Manny don't need that fight. So who do you yeah. think Manny should fight? He can fight anybody he wants. Mikey Garcia, Danny oh. Garcia, they're talking about those. That's Lomachenko. a good fight. Yeah. Well, Loma's a little smaller than Mikey and, and, and Mikey and Danny Garcia are the same but, and, and it's not, it's not giving away size so it does look great for one of those two Thank you very much, have a nice day Bagamat magiging maganda ang laban ng dalawa mas nakakabuti umanong humanap na lang si Pacman ng ibang makakalaban Ngunit, sino nga ba si Ray Bumbum Mancini? Si Mancini ay isang literadong buksingerong Amerikano na naging Hall of Famer noong 2015. Isa siyang WBA welterweight champion na mayroong 29 wins, 23 via knockout at may limang talo. Sa kasalukuyan, siya ay isang aktor at sports commentator. Kung sikat na sikat na buksingerong si Bumbum Mancini ay tumatak ang laban kontra kay Kim Duk-ku ng South Korea kung saan namatay ang buksingero matapos magkaroon ng blood clot na sinapit sa kamay at kamao ni Bumbum Mancini. I was on top of the world. You know, I was just 21 years old. I, was, I had reached my peak as a fighter. You know, I was riding the wave. Well, they told me that I was going to fight the Pan Pacific Asian champion, Duku Kim. I knew it would be an action fight, but I felt my strength would overcome and my ability would, would, would be able to defeat him. His dressing room was right next to mine. And you could hear him screaming, ah, banging in the lockers, bang, bang, bang. And the lockers were rattling. And I kind of looked at him and I said, well, I guess we're in for a tough one today. These are the moments that you got to stay strong. Sports psychologists call it positive mental visualization. I said, hell, I always thought it was called dreaming. Any message for your yeah. Filipino fans? Oh, for the Philippines. I just want to say, I have a great admiration for all the great Philippine fighters through the years. Of course, you got the great Manny Pacquiao, but through the years, uh, 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 Espinosa? Yeah. And uh, uh, the great... Uh, Uh, ben Villafleur yeah. was the first one. Yeah. Uh, you know, you got so many great, you know, fighters through the years. The Philippine fighters, of course, you know, uh, the, uh, just they, they've had so many, and the great warriors, the great country of a, of a country that's small. You know, I just I have none but that great admiration. For If uh, Spencer won and Manny Pacquiao uh, fight with Spence, who's, who do I you think? I think it's a bad. I think it's a great fight, but it's a bad fight for Manny in the sense Spence is a big, totally big. So I think yeah. Manny don't need that fight. So who do you Manny. think Manny should fight? He can fight anybody he wants. Mikey Garcia, Danny oh. Garcia. They're talking about those. That's Lomachenko. a good fight. Yeah. Lomachenko. Lomachenko's a little smaller than. 
Mikey and, and, and Mikey and Danny Garcia are the same, but and, and it's not it's not giving away size. So that was a great fight for one of those two. Thank you very much. Thank Have a nice day. You. God bless. banggit ni Boom Boom na kayang-kayang talunin ni Manny kung magririmat sila ni Manny Floyd Mayweather. Manny is special. He's, 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 a, he's a freak of nature. Because? Uh, uh, the fact that he's still fighting and fighting at the, the, the capabilities that he's still beating a guy like Keith Thurman in his last fight. He's special. There's no dispute or that one of the all-time greats. What is this man's nickname? Money, Money. right? Yeah. Spend Dangle it. 300 more million dollars, and he is going to risk 50 and 0, and he's going to wind up 50 and 1. And I'm going to say what I've been saying, Floyd. I dare you to get your butt kicked by Manny Pacquiao now because you would. Manny is on a mission to get even with right. Floyd. That's, yeah. A lot of people want somebody to shut up Money Mayweather, and Manny could do it. And I grant you. 40 you versus 42, mm -hmm. but I'm buying it. I'm watching it. I'll be there at ringside. But then you better invite me. Dagdag pa nito, isa si Pacquiao sa all-time best ng boxing. No, no, Manny could have competed with anybody, but you know, I don't know, you know, Kevin, I don't know if all the way would have been his best division because at 26, between 26, you know, and, and 40, it was a wrecking ball. 26 might have been the best. He fought the two great fighters there. Barrera and Morales. I mean, he fought them all. Right. And and, and I don't know if his best rate, his best rate to me is like 26. But he was able to move up and continue to be, be great. So, I, for me, I wouldn't well rank him as a welterweight. I'd more rank him as a featherweight. No, it's funny to talk about Sanchez. But he was great, man. He was great. Dash, he was going to talk about it. He was going to move up and fight me for my title. I know. When, the, when he got, when the accident happened. So, look, he was great. Um, but man, he was, you know, it's just, it's a different time, but you had Ray Fellowitz, Sandy Sadler, Willie Pep, Chucky Wright, those were in front of before, but now in present day, you got, you know, uh, Salvador Sanchez, uh, Alexis Arguello at 26, Manny at 26, so a lot of great, that's a great division, a lot of guys. Lot of Silvio those... Petrosa, Silvio Petrosa one of the greatest featherweights of all time, all right. time. Right. Well, nobody could you. I think he would have beaten Sanchez. Yeah. But Manny was special. He has a way of figuring guys out. Manny is a, a, a is a guy. His greatest asset for me when I watch him <laughs> is his footwork, <laughs> his movement. He gets in and out of position. You know, kickboxing is a game of inches and angles. And Manny always has a, the right inch, the right angle, makes you miss just enough, and, and, and counters you. He's able to counter you. He's, he's special. That's what makes him so special to me. It's his footwork more than anything. He's able to get in and out. You never see him get in trouble too much. You know. Like stay in the pocket. He moves pretty good. When he gets hit, he moves out of the way. Do you think that mentally, you think that mentally, Anthony Joshua just doesn't understand what it takes to be Andy Ruiz? Because he comes up with so many different reasons as to why he lost. At first, he took the, I, I admire him. He was very classy, but I said, yeah, I got beat. I have, I have people say he's been coming up with a lot of excuses since. I don't know why. He got beat. You know what? Maybe you're too, worried too much being trying to be the America's guest. Shaking hands, kissing babies, taking pictures. Taking pictures with you your Doing everybody, you know, <laughs> and should worry about Andy. He didn't. Maybe now you're focused on him. He's just going to win the belt back. What do you think? Excuses. What do you think about that fight going to Saudi Arabia with so much going on right now? I, I don't get it, man. I, I don't get. I get it because you know they're spending a lot of money, a lot of money over there. But with all that, I'd, I'd be concerned for my family. 
And if they're about me going over there, I would. Chris. Now, Cyrus, yeah, now, now, should Errol Spence get past Sean Porter, the fight that everybody talks about is Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. Absolutely. How does that fight play out? They're the two, two, two best waterweights, I think, in the, in the world, and I think I think Errol beats him. Tra uh, Terrence Crawford's a special fighter, don't get me wrong. But I think, I just think Errol's too big and too strong. I think, strength-wise, I think he's got a better punch, and that's, that's the difference. Though, Crawford could do more things, you know, changing up, you know, left, right, you know, <coughs> boxes very well, punch good. I just think Errol's punch will dictate that fight. Where do you rank? Where do you rank Deontay Wilder as, as in a heavyweight division right now? I mean, he's got to be the top heavyweight to me. He's, I mean, him and Andy are one and two. How do you see a fight between them play out? Because Andy Ruiz says, should he beat him, that's the fight he's And you he's admire that. And they, and they were sitting next to each other, gentlemen. That's a it was just strictly business. They understood it. They admire each other. They respect each other. That's what you should do. You to be the best, you want to fight the best. Absolutely. Why would you go fight anybody else? I had Deontay on my show on Monday, and he said that no guy under six foot five, six foot four, is going to beat him. He said he's going to knock out Andy Ruiz. What do you expect him to say? That's what you want to hear. You want to hear a heavyweight say. And then he probably said, no, and I knocked out big guys before, and I'll chop him down like a tree, too. That's what you want to hear. But it's boxing. Stylistically. Stylistically. Both made. That's a stylist fight. Both guys put punches and bunches. I love Deontay Water. The brother, man, throws punches. from. It comes with bad intention every punch. Love that. You love that. So you're taking him. Huh. Deontay Wilder over Andy Ruiz. No, 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 no. I said, I love the way Deontay Wilder fought Wilder fights. No, Andy Ruiz is another guy. Good. I said, high boxing IQ, good straight shit. No, if they fight, that's going to be a great fight. You know, I was just saying, I was a fan of both. So I didn't know Andy Ruiz, but watching Deontay Wilder through the years, I become a fan because of how he fights. Does Ortiz do good in the rematch for Wilder? He got to get past him. Or, Ortiz, I, uh, you, you talking about the, Luis Ortiz? Yes. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I think Luis Ortiz could give a part of the headache for anybody. Yes. He's a stout, tall, soft, part. Left hook? Anybody. Good puncher, but he, I don't think he beats Wilder. What do you say to people that feel like Deontay Wilder has no boxing skills? He's just all power and, and no skill. Great. Yeah, who cares? He's the world heavyweight champion of the world. I don't need his skills, so I'm knocking you out. Who cares? I appreciate you, champ. <laughs> Thank you. May balak nga bang labanan ulit ni Floyd Mayweather Jr. si Manny Pacquiao o gumagawa na lang ito ng kwento para mapansin at mapag-usapan ng mga tao? Make it a real fight! Huling lumaban ng seryoso ang undefeated na si Floyd noong 2015 at mula noon ay lumaban na lamang ito sa mga mahihinang halaban. Sa kasalukuyan ay wala pang panibagong update sa dalawa. Stay tuned lang po mga kabayan para sa mga update ukol sa balita na ito. Kabayan, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.